and getting our bees a, some nice spots they can get some water. Hopefully the sprinklers will fill those up. Spent uh, probably almost two hours, at least an hour and a half at the crack of dawn today, uh, fixing the sprinklers finally. And it is quite, I gotta tell you, it's like the damn Bellagio around here. There's somewhere around maybe 80 sprinkler heads on five different banks. And when they're all going, or at least when the back 40 are going, it's like, <laughs> but uh, I took a lot of uh, trimming around and trimming around sprinkler heads and doing a lot of adjustment. I was quite surprised that none of them actually had blown off or was any substantial damage, but uh, <clears throat> I was pretty well doused this morning and it was kind of cool. But sprinkler system's back in order for the most part. Couple of them are coming back. Oh, there's a big one. Or one with a lot of pollen, I should say. They come out here in midday or mid afternoon and they are going wild. Buzzing all around. They're off to an early morning start. And we still have yet to crack this thing open, but uh, as far as pulling any honey out of it, but you can see how far they've made it. Quite a bit. Oh, you focus. Jeez. Pretty nice morning up here. Got a pair of sandhill cranes chilling right over there. And Ollie on three legs is keeping up. He has to rest a little bit, but he's been out here in the yard with me for 40 minutes or so. Come on, bud. <laughs> 